Let me look up under your hood Your motor's missing, lady I've got to look under your hood Well, I've got a feeling That I can do your motor some good Your battery needs charging Under the hood, it's got a bigger engine. The 5 liter V8 engine is available to provide extra power for hauling heavy loads and pulling trailers weighing up to 5,000 pounds when properly equipped. I guess they could have put a 456 gear in it for proper equipment. But uh, we had to take the whole front clip off this thing because we wanted to replace the radiator cradle. And while we've got a new one here and getting it painted up, let's take a look. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Uh, okay. But look at this mess right here. Those old smog motors from back in the 80s uh, were not known to be robust, okay? Uh, especially not the 305. Uh, it had a pretty, had a very mild camshaft. Uh, when they were new, and then the camshafts were known to be soft. They'd wipe lobes off of them, and they had that old fiber timing chain, the sprockets that you've seen there. I mean, uh, they weren't too good, but you can help them out a little bit. They had about 140, 150 horsepower, and uh, you can get a little bit more out of them, you know, boost them up maybe about 200 with some of the tricks that we're gonna do right here. And uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, buy a camshaft kit from Jay! Jay! What the hell was that? Jigs. Jigs. And this is the kit we got. Comes with everything you need. Lifters, time and chain set, made in the USA. Now we're gonna get that lubed up and put it in there. And uh, it's very mild, like a stage one type of thing. But uh, we'll see what we see on that here in a minute. Uh, there's a groove on our harmonic dampener. And uh, so we bought a new one from- uh, Advanced Auto Parts. Oh, come on. Cut that out. Now, this is not scientific, but look at these cams. The old one's on the left, the new one's on the right. Mm-hmm. Quite a bit of difference, just uh, visibly. Uh, but we're going to lube that sucker up, like I said earlier, and we're going to get her in there. Yeah, doing a fine job. We'll get that thing in. Again, the dogs are just not impressed. And got the timing set on there. We'll have this thing going in no time. AC Delco. That's the way we like to roll because it AC. Okay. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, Delco. Yeah. We're going to take the oil pan off of it while we got it apart because I broke a dipstick tube off down in it and we got to get that out of there. And plus, while we're at it, we might as well change the oil pump. <laughs> But uh, meanwhile, back at the boar's nest. Looks like we got ourselves a little delivery. Our cat Betty likes to inspect each and every delivery for defects, imperfections, and uh, funny smells. And uh, when she gets done looking at it, we're going to take it out there. Hey, hey, Betty, what do you think? Will that fit a small box Chevy? Is that going to add about 50 horsepower? This right here, this intake. Ow! Quit it. Now, believe it or not, we've got this. We got this from, we got this from Walmart. Walmart. Walmart, yeah. No big nothing on that. Shopping here at the Walmart. Yeah, so I guess Betty's done inspecting it. We'll take it on out in the garage and get ready to put it on. All right, let's bring her in the garage. USA, 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 USA. That's more to my liking. Edelbrock. 
And we got the intake on there. And now I'm going to stick this in here temporarily. I know you're saying shed man. You're asking yourself, this is not my beautiful garage. This is not my beautiful car. But it's the same as it ever was. The same as it ever was. Now, wait a minute. You see, this, this doesn't have a gear on it to uh, engage with the camshaft. And what you can do with this, you got this in here engaging with the intermediate shaft that goes down to the oil pump. And you can just put you a, a, a battery power drill or whatever on this thing and turn it, have you an oil pressure gauge hooked up, and you can watch the oil pressure go up. It kind of primes everything up. And it's real useful when you've got a brand new motor. This is far from being a brand new motor, but we're going to prime it up anyway. It doesn't cost anything. It's fun to do. Okay, what do you think weighs more? This big factory cast iron thing, this thing's heavy. Or that big racing number right there, aluminum, made by... Edelbra! Man, I gotta get out of this garage for a minute. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm gonna go to town and see if I can find a new oil pump. Oh, I just taking a little casual drive just to clear my mind every once in a while. Let's see what they got in this place. We're gonna go ahead and put a new oil pump, pickup tube and screen, intermediate shaft and everything. And we're gonna get that stuff from, from Advance Auto Parts and Batteries. Thank you. That'll be uh, $93.